Yeah, with this part of the exhibition, really, we're kind of going into a bit more detail about the cotton famine and uh, trying to explain what that was about. Um, obviously, it had a massive impact on the on Rochdale and the cotton producing towns of Lancashire. Um, I don't think many people realise how important um, cotton was to the economy of Britain at the time, but um, and also uh, how important cotton was um, slave growing cotton to the Industrial Revolution. Um, uh, we, we found out during our research that 70% of all the raw, raw materials that fueled the Industrial Revolution was slave grown, um, especially cotton, and that this accounted for 16% of all jobs in, in the UK. So obviously there's a lot of people out of work during the cotton famine and had a massive impact on the economy of Britain as well as the economy of Lancashire. I think it took, it, it took a while for, for, for news of how serious the cotton famine was to reach the south uh, of the country. Um, there were newspaper journalists coming up from the Times, from London, to report on, on, the, on the situation. And eventually money started to be raised in the south of England uh, and sent up to, to relieve the suffering. Um, locally there were different uh, relief funds and charities set up to help the people. Uh, and this picture here, this print, shows that uh, the members of the um, Manchester Central Relief Committee who, which was formed to, to support and, and um, feed the starving of Lancashire during the famine. Um, there was also lots of public works and uh, um, classes organised for various, various organisations to keep the workers busy and to educate them when they were out, while they were out of work. Now, all in all, the, the famine lasted about three years. Rochdale at the time um, had 95 cotton mills employing 14,000 people. Of these 14,000 people that were employed, 10,700 were out of work during the cotton famine. Uh, and which just shows you the impact that it had. It had a knock-on effect as well, obviously, because there was no work. A lot of the shops and other businesses were going out of, out of business because there was no money to be spent in them. So it had a massive impact on the local economy. Really. Some of the objects in this case really represent um, some of the relief committees and, and various things that happened. There were soup kitchens that, that were set up by the co-op movement um, and various other charities to, to feed the people of Rochdale. George Ashworth, uh, who was represented by this bust, was um, the treasurer of the Rochdale Relief Fund. Um, the fund raised over £26,000, I think, during the cotton fund to feed the starving of Rochdale. And here are these objects that represent the various uh, classes that were organised to keep people busy. There were sewing classes and reading classes that went on in the town during the famine.